the lambs are out in the field and they're enjoying this amazing weather. Um, and I've come out here today not to look at them, but to look at what comes out of their mother's backsides other than them. <laughs> sheep poo. On a single sheep poo you can get about half a dozen yellow dung flies. And as their name suggests, their lives centres around poo. And not just sheep poo, but they like cow and horse poo as well. So there's lots of them on the farm. What scientists are really fascinated about are their sexual behaviours. And as I discovered when I spent five minutes looking at a poo, a single poo over there, they spend a lot of their time mating. Male flies wait for the females to arrive on the dung and there's lots of competition for them. A neighbour, Ian Tulit, came over to the farm to take these incredible pictures of the flies. The males are bright yellow, hairy and can be more than a centimetre long. The females are a bit smaller, duller and have brown, a brown-green tinge to them. Mating lasts for up to 50 minutes and looks pretty stressful. As you can see, there are attacks on all sides from other males trying to dislodge their competitor. You can see two pairs mating in this video, although the females are hardly visible underneath. Once it's over, the male will try to defend his female so others cannot mate her. This is where it gets really interesting because females receive male sperm in a special organ within their reproductive tract inside which sperm can be stored for days. Scientists think the female may have some control over which sperm is released from this chamber to fertilize her eggs. This is called cryptic female choice. Here you can see some eggs. They look just like grains of sugar. Hopefully in a couple of weeks time, the swallows will arrive from Africa and will be hunting above these fields, totally dependent on insects like these to feed their young. These flies break down um, poos and return nutrients to the soil and in doing so they also reduce the risk of disease spreading on the farm. So the fewer chemicals that a farmer is able to use in his livestock and land, the greater the chances that these flies will flourish. Thanks for watching.